Wow. I guess sometimes two f**ks do make a right. <laughs>
Troom Troom is canceled, goodbye. All right, let's move away from YouTube and into blogging territory. Found this website, realmoms.com. Thank God I've been looking for my real mother. Pick your favorite color of lipstick and use brush to apply lipstick on your nails. Let's try it. I got some lipstick. It's a sparkly pink one. It's not my favorite color, but I'm okay with cutting it up. So we're just gonna scrape some lipstick off. Hey, that doesn't look that bad. Looks nice for lipstick on my nails. <laughs> Add a taco. That kind of disintegrates the nail polish. I mean, the, the f lipstick. Oh my god, I'm brainwashed. <laughs> okay, I'm wiping this shit off. All right, what else you got for me, real mothers? Out of nail polish remover? Step one, get lemon juice and white vinegar in a small bowl. Rub your nails with cotton to remove the nail polish. Hmm, let's try it! And it doesn't say anything about how much of each I need. What are the measurements, Mom? All right, we're just gonna have to wing it since we're gonna need to have nail polish on to test this. Let me just paint my nails first. Wow, my nails are looking really long these days, eh? It must be the cayenne pepper hack. Okay, now we gotta let it fully dry. Hello there, Ben. Hello. Is that my tea? Yes. Hey, thank you. This is not a dumb hack. This is a smart hack. Okay, it's had over half an hour to dry now. Oh, wait a second. Did you see what's on my other hand? It's a beautiful, stunning rose gold foil polish. But of course, I couldn't not top it with a hollow taco. It strikes the perfect balance of classic upscale elegance and hollow sexual. <laughs> Here's some lemon juice. When life gives you lemons, make nail polish remover. In order to try this, we're gonna protect our other hand because it's too beautiful to risk being ruined right now. The moment of truth. I'm gonna apply pressure for a couple seconds like I normally would and then kind of pull it forward. And this is the time <laughs> when I would begin to see the nail polish coming off on the cotton pad, but so far we've got absolutely nothing. <laughs> Let's try another fresh pad just to make sure I'm doing this properly. I'm actually seeing nothing happen. It's not even penetrating the taco at all. It's still perfectly shiny. <laughs> okay, what's next? Let's just go on over to fabhow.com. Oh good, I would like to learn how to be fab. Please teach me how to remove nail polish without using nail polish remover. <laughs> They've got hairspray, hand sanitizer, perfume, wet nail polish, I think we did that last time, and wet taco. That's pretty much the same thing as wet nail polish. Now I'm personally really curious about the perfume one because if this works, not only could you remove your nail polish, but your nails will also smell like Julia Roberts with diamonds falling everywhere. I do have this perfume though. It's really, really old. <laughs> Spray perfume on a paper towel, rub your nail with it to remove the polish. Okay, sounds pretty simple. Let's try it. Get my domestic goddess protection on. <coughs> Why did I ever wear this? Okay. It's kind of working! Still not actually fully eating through the polish. It's just gently rubbing off the color. <sighs> okay, well, now I still have nail polish on and it smells like shit in here. <laughs> Having a problem to dry your nail polish? Spray cooking spray over the nail polish. <sighs> Got some cooking spray. Pam. Pam I am. What? Now I would suspect that these quick dry nail hacks are supposed to be done in lieu of a quick dry glossy top coat. So we're not gonna put this guy on and instead we're gonna use cooking spray because it's gonna work just as good. I wonder if it will be as effective as the ice water bath we tried last time. <laughs> so I've got two coats of still wet nail polish on. Ah! Oh my god! Ew. Ew. Who the f thought of this? I would just like to know what idiot was painting their nails and cooking at the same time. My nails are swimming in a pile of wet oil. We gonna do the slip and slide. I guess let's see if it's dry. Oh shit. <laughs> That's definitely not dry. And I'm not stabbing that hard, okay? Maybe I'm just not understanding the science behind this hack, but could someone please tell me why it would make sense that putting oil on lacquer would make it dry or harden? <laughs> 
<coughs> I have been exposed to too many household supplies today. <laughs> I think we've got time to test one more. Now, Real Moms claims to have a solution for spilled nail polish. Let's see what it is. I can't wait. You're supposed to pour sugar over the nail polish and then it supposedly rubs off easily. I've seen this on a whole bunch of other different types of hack websites. And I'm genuinely curious if this actually works because it could have come in handy a few years ago when I spilled nail polish on this very hardwood floor. <laughs> I wasn't filming at the time, but I was painting my nails with purple and then I left the cap off and I knocked it over onto the hardwood floor. You can see there's still purple nail polish in the wood grain. <laughs> no, we're not gonna use my actual hardwood floor to test this. We're gonna use some sample hardwood flooring. Fresh from Home Depot. They thought we were buying a floor, but re they really just gave us free samples to destroy. <laughs> Trim, trim, help me. I'm also gonna make the spill much thicker on one side so we can see if that makes any difference. Oh no, I've spilled my nail polish on the hardwood floor. What should I do? Oh, let's pour some sugar on it. Pour some sugar on it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> let's try, ready? What is going on? <gasps> Oh my God. The nail polish is kind of crumbling up. Holy shit, it's kind of working. Oh my God! <laughs> Obviously it's not completely gone, but from what I can tell, it looks like the sugar really worked at helping clump together the thicker parts of the nail polish. It looks like a Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. I mean, obviously it's not gonna completely remove the nail polish, but the parts where it was thickest, that shit worked. <laughs> All right, well. That's enough housework for me for today. <laughs> Most of these nail hacks we come across on the internet are usually dumb or they just don't work. Except the sugar one. Guys, what the f***? Now you guys know how much I love testing dumb shit on my channel. So if you see any more dumb nail hacks, dumb children's toys, make sure you let me know by tweeting me on the Twitter, at Nailogical, or leaving a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more dumb shit. <laughs> Menchie? Are you tired of dumb things on the internet? Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all later. Bye!